Okay, you guys, I just had the craziest dreams. Wow, isn't it some Cyrus? Isn't it wild how some nights you can just have like the most wild, vivid dreams, and other times it's like you don't even remember even what happened to you during that time. You could have got abducted by DJ Who Kid <laughs> and or aliens. Yo, what's the forecast today, brother? According to the actual weather forecast app, it was supposed to be really shitty, but I see some repeat to the blinds. And let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Behind door number three, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not afraid of that daylight sun. That's a song of mine. You could listen to it. It's called I'm Good. And uh, that there looks like a blue bird. That's a white bird. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I'm prepared for it. I was ready for a kind of a gloomy day because I had some indoor activities and chores I wanted to do with you. We'll put you to use in just a second here. But the reality is you got to weigh in. Now... Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. I can deal with that. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Oh shit. You already see me out here today. That's because I got up and made my bed, bitch. Early. I do be listening to a podcast though, Andrew Schultz. <laughs> Commenting on the Chris D'Elia whole fiasco. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to that at all, but Chris D'Elia is in some hot water with these uh, young girls. Now, today I'm doing just celery because I don't want these to go bad, so I'm just gonna have just celery. So I'm gonna probably juice two of these and then uh, slam it to my face or slow sip it and talk to you and things like that. It got shitty out, the clouds are rolling in, but uh, let's make this jouess. Very, very simple, this one. Just celery. Well, nothing's perfect, not the perfect pour. Y'all know I like to put mine on a little ice. I put everything on ice. I actually love it. I, <laughs> it's so weird. Just straight celery. It tastes so good to me. Just a little so, I love celery though. Get that in quick. Bon appetito. Ooh, it's a hit of that good shit. <laughs> um, okay, so it's four o'clock. I actually decided I'm gonna do some editing, which I have to do. I need to do that for a couple hours. Get a video done. For you guys and then at six o'clock i get my sister's dog she's staying for the weekend cuteness overload but uh, i gotta take care of her and i'm gonna take her out for a walk in the evening maybe 7 7 30 when the sun's kind of a little less intense because to be honest i actually like getting my walk in later in the day because i don't really love the day like super hot high in the sky sun it's not my favorite time i like the more vibe energy of the late night so we're gonna take her for a walk, take some shots of that, and then we're gonna have our serious talk, our wisdom, our our hoodie expressing himself from the depths of his chest and soul. Um, but this one for real actually is something that like I really need to speak on, really gotta get off the chest. So hope you stay tuned for that. Might even have a couple soccer balls, a couple soccer shots, a couple digs at the net while, while I'm there. Uh, Cause we're going to that same field and uh, yeah. Please join me in uh, my convo that I need to have with you. All right, until then.
drink your celery juice, every all of you. You've been lied to by the industry. That it's okay to fast and drink juices. It's fine, you won't die, I promise. Oh yes, mm, I can smell this. Oh my God. It's gonna be 48 hours fasted soon and this fresh basil smells unbelievable. Oh my word. All right, I'm gonna kick off these shoes cause I love having nice open feet at this time of night on a summer's night. This is my favorite time. It's like 8 p.m. It's so perfect out. It's just so nice and mild, a little breeze. I'm in the shade, I'm by these plants. And it's time to get into a real, real, real talk one today. And that is to address um, basically my recent videos leading up to this change. So maybe like 10 or 15 of them. And also just to say, I think I gave you guys too much. It's all my fault. And it's what killed me ultimately near the end here into doing this mentally. So what do I mean by that? What do I mean by I gave you guys too much? Here's the thing about uh, my channel for the most part or where it ended up is like, I started with the ASMR and the ASMR always had eating content and you know, just general life stuff and then kind of some story times and whatever. And it wasn't all that serious. And then somewhere along the way, right, we transitioned into mukbang. And then I started telling really like crazy stories and the stories were like a point of focus, right? They were like a prime reason why people were coming to these videos. And then I introduced the cooking aspect of it. And then I did ASMR cooking. And then it got to the point where basically my best videos or all my videos were almost like six or seven pieces of content in one, right? Like some people like Quan Tran, for example, he just cooks his ass off. He just has fun. Doesn't really divulge too much about his life. You don't really get to know him as a person too, too much. He just kind of shows up with the food. It's amazing. He eats it and acts like it's amazing. And there's that. Then there's people like, I don't know, like Sam, the cooking guy, for example. Yeah, you kind of get to know his funny little personality and stuff, but you don't know much about his life to, to, to super deep degrees like, like mine, but he's a recipe guy, you know? He does the recipes, he shows the up close of the food, and then he takes a bite, and then at the end, it is what it is. It's a recipe channel. It's one of those things. And um, I just feel like at a certain point in my channel, I gave so many different style of pieces of content in one piece of content that like to recreate and like, top those videos all the time was just getting to be so exhausting to keep up with and what was even more exhausting to keep up with is that now out of all of my subscribers i have pockets of people who have subscribed for me for six different reasons so for some people it was asmr some people it's cooking some people it's stories some people it's my personality some people it's how i eat da 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 da, da. and the list goes on and the the whole thing goes on so it just got to the point where I would be going to videos when I would feel like making a video how I want to make it because I felt like I want to make it this way today. You know, today I want to do ASMR, so I did ASMR. Today I want to just eat and shut the fuck up and just not have to be entertaining or funny or tell a story. And it just got to the point where I would go through comments and it was constantly like I was letting people down. Like everybody was just like, need to bring back the ASMRs. Where's the ASMRs? Or if I did an ASMR, it's, you know I hate ASMR. It's like, I don't know that you hate ASMR. Like, I don't really know that, but it's like, you know we hate ASMR. We need the story times back. Where's the story times? And then I'd do a story time and it'd be somebody would be, just shut up and eat, you talk too much. And then it was like, oh, well now where's the cooking? You don't cook anymore. This channel's really going downhill. And it's like, I'm always dealing things with circum things circumstantially. And then on top of that, it's like, sometimes I just want to do the thing that I want to do. And I guess, unfortunately, one of my major downfalls is that I'm actually a genuine 
YouTuber, like I'm a genuine person. I'm out here actually caring about the content that I provide so that uh, the people that have subscribed to me can get what they subscribe for. But unfortunately, my content is like was like an array of content. Like literally, I feel like my videos were like seven pieces of content in one. So it's like if I wanted to to switch it up to just cooking the food and make recipes and then have like one bite at the end so I could lose weight, right? I'd still be disappointed the people who were like, you wait, you don't eat the food anymore? Why don't you eat the food anymore? Where's the eating part? Or where's the story time with the eating? Like it was just the demand on me became so high and it's like, I was just getting so like, I don't even know what to do here anymore because I don't, I just feel like I'm tied in like fucking six different directions and I'm being just pulled apart and no one's ever happy and I wanted to make people happy but also want to make myself happy and I just wasn't very happy with 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 the whole scenario of everything just my general life situation and 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 just being pulled in that many directions and kind of not knowing where to go next and also being trapped by like getting fat and being fat and being like how do I switch my content so that I'm not <laughs> fat anymore and then also money it's like I can't switch my content because I got to make this much money and it's like it's this crazy cyclical like trap that you get caught in so finally for the first time in so long since doing YouTube was I in a position where I didn't have my back against the wall financially so I said, fuck it, I'm going to upload whatever it is that I want to upload. If it's me drunk, eating however I want to eat, if it's being dumb, stupid, laughing, yelling, annoying, if it's just shutting up and smashing food, if I'm not drunk but I don't want to do a story time and I just want to be chill and want to be easy, if I want to upload an ASMR, if this, that, the third, if I don't want to cook, if I can't cook, like whatever the situation is, I'm just uploading what I want to upload. And yeah, I guess it just the last chunk of videos weren't as well received as previous and stuff and and certainly they weren't up to the same par as before in in that sense but at the same time it was like i was just actually uploading what i felt like in the moment like in that the day-to-day -day, like in that day if i just felt like you know what i want to order wendy's and i want to just smash it or whatever it is a pizza i want to smash it and just not have to be like crazy entertaining that's what i'm doing today because i just at this point I'm exhausted with being pulled in all these directions and I'm just going to do what I want to do for a while. And so that's what I did. And, and I'll say this too. Another like my element in my mind was like, it seems like to me that everybody who is successful in this genre is kind of like disgusting, over the top, obnoxious, asshole -ish, uh, like not, you know, not humble. They're just like, like almost just gross, like, it just seems like the people who are doing well are those type of people. Like, it's just like they act extra. They act like fake. They, so I was like, well, maybe I'll just throw shit at the wall for a little while too. Maybe I'll act extra and gross and weird and cringy and all that shit because apparently that's what sells, right? Like anybody who's really doing anything in this genre is like, that's what sells. It's seemingly, if you go to the top people, it's all people kind of like that. It's like what people love to either hate on or comment on. And cause it's all about getting the dialogue going. The more dialogue you have in your comment box, the more likes and dislikes, the more controversy, the more like you rub people weird ways is, is how you do well in this whole climate of YouTube, which is such a strange concept to me. And it's not only in this genre, it's in all genres. It's in all of the fake YouTubers who are like, doing viral TikTok recipe challenges and then you go to the video and it's just this loud fake person who's like 24 and you can tell he's like a hipster that goes out drinking and does cocaine every night but on YouTube he acts like he's like you know oh like all oh, the kids hey look this is crazy kids like it's all kids and shit and I don't know it just it just it, it's through all of YouTube like we live in the upside down everything's backwards everything Everything that succeeds in life seemingly is mostly fake. It's in like the, in, in the entertainment space, I should say, not in life, but in the entertainment space on YouTube. The agenda that gets pushed is like excess and like this, the dumbing down of people and just like really mindless like pranks and uh, just these, these, these viral challenges and um, buying all this like crap for your videos that like after you're either gonna have to throw out or you're just gonna have on hand or like what do you do with it it's like and there's just it's just like this world of excess and it's like it's all just this 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 really mindless entertainment so um, 
I don't know. I just feel like I've never really tried to f to like fall into that. I've tried to just, like stay out of that um, the best I can. But a portion of what I do when it comes to the food kind of has to have a little bit of that element. Like I got to show up with at least like some crazy looking stuff or like the big dirty meal and whatever. Like, but anyways, I don't know. I just, there was just so many factors pulling me in so many ways and just everything on YouTube just started to feel so like, I'm just, I'm just chasing this fake thing that everybody's being fake. And even the ones who are topping the charts with this stuff, it's all, it's just, it's just way too excessive. I can't morally get with it, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, I love food and I did love doing my videos the way I was doing them all. Like when they were like a big seven piece content type thing, like all packed into one. But at the same time, like I said, it just, it was so hard to like continue to recreate and top and like give you guys like everything that I had, like, like give the people the ASMR when they want it, give the mukbangs, give the amazing story times, be funny all the time, be introspective, have the good perspectives, have the good opinions, not talk enough, talk too much. Uh, just all of it, just all of it. I just, I, I just felt like I was being pulled apart at the seams. And so ultimately I just had to change everything for now. And, and then I don't know, like, I don't know what to do from here, to be honest. This is as real as it gets. I'm just trying something new for a while until I feel good with myself. And then, I, like I said, I want to reconfigure, recalibrate, and then approach food on this channel and cooking and music and lifestyle and things in a different format, in a sustainable format where it's healthy for me. And, you know, I can kind of get to a place where I have almost a formatted video again. Like, you know what to expect when you show up here, but it's not just going to be this one style of thing that I felt trapped in before, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. It could just happen again, though. I could just get trapped again in, in a whole new, in, in my new wave of whatever the thing that is I'm going to do next. So, um, yeah. And it, what sucks, too, is like even admitting this on camera, right? Like admitting this to you guys is almost like, it further almost makes the death of my channel even more real probably because the thing about when you're on social media, I feel like a lot of the times is you almost have to act as if you, I don't know, not cocky, but like really confident and like, like, Oh, I have the utmost belief in myself and that's how people believe in you too. And that's why people subscribe to you because they see somebody that they want to like be like, or they admire or whatever. And, I don't know, maybe my honesty and my genuine side is, is that for people as well. So that could play a factor, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I, it, it's tough to like come on here and, and like spew all this real like truth because it kind of makes me feel weak in a sense, but at the same time, it like gives me the strength because I need to get rid of it to move on to something else, to something new, because I'd rather, you know, the truth about it than me just never saying it and then having like it live in me and then you guys never really have any clarity of what's going on because I just think like like anything in life like communication makes everything better like understanding makes everything better like that's why the world has so many problems is because we don't get to a level of understanding with each other so um yeah that was just where I was at so I just felt really really stretched super thin I was being tug of war and I just couldn't, I just couldn't hack it anymore. And I just had to, I just had to have to step away from all of it for a good little while so that I can uh, just refocus my energy on, on something that feels just more uh, authentic or purposeful to me now going forward. Cause that just wasn't cutting it anymore. Like, you know what I mean? But I still love to tell a good story and stuff like that. But so I think too, I'm only one man. I only have so many good stories. Like I can't just, I don't have forever, never ending stories. So, um, you know, I got to really dig deep for the good ones anymore still. And, um, uh, you know, my life has slowed down. I don't live in the crazy city anymore. I don't, I don't live that life anymore, which sucks because I miss that style of life. I'm f for that reason, because I, it, it used to create opportunities like that for me to just to experience wild things or different things or, or, or unexpected things. Whereas like I live a life now, it's very, I can expect what I'm going to do all the time every day. So it's very difficult. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, clarify all of that 
because that's one of the main things that I really needed to get off my chest. I got one more or two more of these really deep YouTube-ish style videos and then uh, then we're gonna switch into try to do some funner shit. But uh, I just, like I said, I needed to get these out of my system. So hope you can rock with that. Hope you can understand. And then until uh, the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.